mo mo mo. Hello and welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley, and uh, you're listening to and looking at the Universal Audio 710 Twinfinity Microphone Preamplifier. This guy right here. Uh, now the 710 is sort of built on a lot of the sort of classic uh, uh, microphone preamp topology uh, that, uh, that UA is sort of famous for, and so as you can hear, it kind of has that classic warm UA sound. Basically, the main thing that sets this preamplifier apart from other designs in the UA line and sort of in UA's history is the fact that it features two discrete preamplifier gain stages in one box. One of those gain stages is transistor, and the other one is the classic UA tube-based uh, gain stage. And on the front of this unit here, you'll find an infinite blend knob that allows you to select either 100% tube stage or 100% uh, transistor stage or any mix of the two in between there. Uh, that's why it's called the Twinfinity. Very clever. So right now we're listening to the classic vacuum tube front end. And now as we switch the knob this way, now we're listening to the transistor front end. And you can hear there's actually a pretty noticeable shift in the tone. Uh, generally, you get a little bit more body and warmth from the uh, vacuum tube front end. And then you get sort of a little bit more clarity and tra uh, transient response, uh, uh, heightened transient response from the transistor front end. Um, Obviously, you're not uh, sort of getting a lot of the transient response here because you're just listening to my voice through this uh, Audio-Technica AT813A uh, handheld condenser microphone. But later on in this video, we're going to listen to the 710 being fed uh, a couple different sources uh, via a couple different mics, uh, including uh, acoustic guitar, uh, sung vocals, an electric guitar, and then there's also a hi-z input on the front of this guy, so we plug a bass directly into it. Uh, but first, let's just kind of take a look at the features on the front panel here. So here's a tighter shot of our front panel. Uh, on the left side, we've got our input gain right here. This uh, basically controls how hard you're hitting either the tube or the transistor front end. We've got our output. Uh, we've got phantom power, which is engaged right now because we're listening to a condenser microphone. We've got our uh, analog VU meter right here, which other than looking super cool is uh, also uh, highly functional. Right now we're monitoring the output level, but you can also switch it to monitor the drive. So you can see how, you can actually, you can see how hard you're hitting the front end, uh, whether transistor or tube. Da, 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 da. That's nice. Nice little switchable metering there. We've got a low cut, high, low cut, low cut, or high pass, however you want to put it. 15 decibel pad. Where'd I go? There I am. Switchable mic or line. There is in the back, we've got mic or line inputs. So you can rack mount this guy, uh, and then you can kind of uh, leave it set up and have different, uh, you know, different sources feeding this and then switch between those sources with that switch right there. Kind of nice. And then you've got phase and here's your power. And obviously here's your blend knob. Do -do 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 -do. On the front end, we've also got a high Z input, um, which is basically defeats the rear inputs when you plug in uh, an instrument. Let's just look quickly at the back. Classic XLR only inputs and outputs, your mic input, your line input, and then your balance XLR out. So now let's listen to the uh, 710 recording a couple different sources. Uh, first, we'll listen to an acoustic guitar uh, mic'd with an SM81. <laughs> So now let's uh, sing some stuff through this guy, and we're going to be singing into an M Audio Luna 2 large diaphragm solid state condenser. Sometimes I get the feeling that I won't be on this planet for very long. I really like it here. I'm quite attached to it. I hope I'm wrong. All I really want to say. You're the reason I want to stay All I really want to say Is you're the reason I want to stay 
Uh, that condenser sometimes to my ears sounds a little thin and harsh, but uh, through this guy, sounds pretty full and smooth and silky. So now let's listen to uh, some electric guitar. First, with a CAD Tryon 7000. That's this guy back here. A ribbon mic, passive ribbon mic. Needs a little bit of extra gain, but let's uh, give it a listen. Now finally, let's plug a Rick 4003 bass into this guy and uh, hear how it sounds as a DI. <laughs> So as you can hear, you get that classic uh, UA sort of like silky, warm front end with a little bit more flexibility thanks to this uh, blend knob and infinitely blendable and selectable parallel solid state transistor preamp gain stage in addition to the classic uh, UA tube front end. Uh, it's the 710 Twinfinity. Uh, it retails for about $800 at uh, most retailers, a little bit less at some. Uh, it's built extremely well, uh, and it's just a totally pro piece of gear for a pretty reasonable price considering its, uh, its sound and its flexibility. You've been watching GearWire.com, and I'm Owen O'Malley, and thanks for checking us out. The disc is too slow. The disc is too slow. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Colin Firth. And hi.